I've got to get things clear enough in my mind so my butt can explain it to you. Hello and welcome to Riding Lessons. In the On the Bit video that I put up recently, I said that there were several definitions and terms that we needed to get very straight before beginning. So these are what these terms really mean and wherever possible, and I'll keep adding to it, I've put um, page numbers and things you can look up yourself in the textbooks, but the ideas that are in these definitions are from understanding all of the texts, all of the quote classical texts. And you are welcome to use these ideas and reshare them. You can, and this is what's in this video is not a complete list. So if you want to get a hold of me, I will email you the complete list because what we would love is if, is if every one of you who are actually interested in proper training use these definitions and insist that professionals and other riders around you comply to them. And so in an effort to make things very understandable and banish confusion, here are the definitions to the first set of terms with more to come. If you want the full list, contact me and I'll email them to you. But here we go. Let's make a start. Hindquarters, also known as haunches, also known as hind end. The hindquarters include the sacrum, the hips, the butts, and the stifles. The hindquarters do not include the lower legs, i.e. below the stifle. Hawks are not hindquarters, said Herr Steinbeck, and motion is the element of the horse and all motion begins in the hindquarters. There are two forces of the hindquarters. The two forces are propulsive force and carrying power. Thrust, also known as propulsive force. Thrust is one of the two forces of the hindquarters. Thrust equals motion plus contact. Thrust is directed motion. An arrow shot from a bow has thrust. Other names are driving force, propulsive force, pushing force, and pulsion. Thrust is governed by carrying power. It is this thrust that is gathered and governed, i.e. collected, by the carrying power of the hindquarters during training. Training aims to make the management of the thrust perfect. The source of thrust is only the hindquarters. All transporting work is from the hindquarters. Carrying is the ability of the hindquarter joints by the arrangement of their mechanical, mechanically advantageous angles to manage the mass of the horse plus the rider in every condition in motion and out of motion and to govern that mass and its thrust by deliberately propelling along a determined line of travel. The carrying power governs thrust. It is not thrust. This carrying ability of the hindquarter joints, A, determines the force of the thrust per stride. B, determines and adjusts the trajectory of that thrust. C, determines and adjusts the length of the footsteps. And D, gathers, restrains, and or recycles Engagement is the mechanical flexion and putting into gear of the joints of the hindquarters, the sacrum, hip, and stifle, by weight bearing. As an example, in mechanical engineering, to engage is to make one part of a machine fit into and move together with another part of a machine, like a gear. A gear is a machine part that engages with another part to transmit force. Instead of talking about machine levers and gears, 
when training horses were talking about the deliberate interplay of the large bones and angles of the hindquarters, their angles to each other and their joints. Changing the degree of the angles of the hindquarters, the carrying power, changes the speed, force, direction, and tra trajectory of the power source. We change the degree of the angles of the bones of the hindquarters with weight. This is to say, weight is the means with which we adjust engagement, the weight aid. This is how we can say that we, quote, sit a horse onto the bit. Contact is consistent by being elastic, tension-free connection through weight, seat, leg, hand, rider and horse, body, mind, and spirit. Contact starts with engagement. See through and throughness. Important note, rein contact is the final, not the first point of contact between the horse and rider. Engagement is the first point of contact we should seek. And this is also spoken of as sitting a horse onto the bit. Through or through the back when fully developed is the elastic, soft, but strong quality of the developed, connecting, conductive, and transmissive top line. See also schwung and through the back. Although through means through and through the entire horse and all of his mechanisms, through is often used in, to reference in particular the horse's back, which is his transmissive top line and his rib cage, especially the plural sheet-like muscles surrounding his torso and rib cage where our soft legs rest. Throughness is relative and develops by degrees. It is possible for a horse to be finding his back, then starting to be through, and later to be coming through, but still not yet be totally through nor schwung. Now we have enough background terminology to clearly describe and define on the bit. We can say a horse is on the bit when his uninterrupted thrust is collected via elastic contact and is governed by the horse's own load engaged carrying hindquarters, which direct the thrust through the back to the bit, according to the rider's wishes. The horse is not on the bit until the carrying capacity of the hindquarters becomes and remains the predominant of its two forces. That is to say, a horse that is only on contact with only thrust is not on the bit. On the bit also defines the horseman's term forwards because forwards equals the desire to carry. And we will be covering that in an upcoming video on the two golden rules of riding. The activity, here's a quote on, on the bit. The activity generated by the engaged hindquarters must be transmitted through a supple back and neck forwards towards the bit and back to the rider's hand. That's from principles, page 82. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. As we said earlier this month of July 2019, from now on, every video that we make will have a citation to a bona fide riding text. As I mentioned earlier, if you would like the entire list of definitions, con please contact me and I'll email it to you. Horse training is a system and a language, and it has doctrines and it's not complicated, and it doesn't take forever. We'll take you the right way, and you won't find it anywhere else right now. Thank you. God bless.